Chinese President Xi Jinping attended a rare concert by a North Korean state art troupe and met with the delegation's chief Ri Su Yong, vice chairman of the North Korean ruling party's Central Committee. Xi and his wife Peng Li Wian met with Li last Sunday and watched the performance by the Pyongyang's artist, which was the first stage in the neighboring country in more than three years since the North Morambong band had called off a planned performance in Beijing at the last minute in 2015. This shows the ties between the two countries has hit its strongest, together with the North leader Kim Jong-un's fourth visit to China in less than a year. This week, Korea Now looks into the ups and downs of bilateral relations between China and North Korea. When Kim Jong-un inherited power in late 2011, then Chinese President Hu Jintao was outwardly supportive of the untested young leader, predicting that traditional friendly cooperation between the countries would strengthen. However, relations between the North and China had frayed in the early years of Kim's rule, as North Korea forged ahead with a string of nuclear and missile tests in disregard of Chinese warnings. Moreover, in 2013, Kim ordered the execution of his uncle Jang song tae the country's chief interlocutor with China and a relative reformist in the hermetic state. Since then, ties between the Allies deteriorated so sharply that she, in an apparent snub of Kim, visited the South first without visiting the North. The acceleration of North Korea's nuclear and missile capabilities coincided with a near-total breakdown of high-level diplomacy between the two. Things seem to be getting worse, marked by the mysterious assassination of Kim's long-estranged half-brother Gyeongnam in Malaysia February 2017, who had been seen as a potential rival for power in Pyongyang, having lived for years in Beijing, then Macau. Furthermore, after the North's sixth nuclear test in September that year, China supported the UN sanctions to curb oil supply to North Korea. However, tensions subsided from early last year amid a detente South Korean President fostered in time for the Winter Olympic Games. Relations between Pyongyang and Beijing have also warmed significantly as Kim launched a peace offensive and sought to improve relations with the United States. Kim visited China three times last year alone, before and after he held his first ever summit with US President Donald Trump. Watchers say Kim's trips to China might be intended to demonstrate to the world that their relations remain strong and also reflect the North's push to project its image as a normal state. And his latest trip to Beijing this year was apparently aimed at coordinating strategy with China ahead of the second US-North Korea summit, which could take place at the end of February. If so, what would be China's intention? China fought alongside North Korea during the Korean War, in which Chinese leader Mao Zedong lost his eldest son. And Beijing has long been Pyongyang's chief ally and primary trade partner. North Korea is reportedly the only country with which China concluded its mutual defense treaty so far. While their relationship has always been clouded by suspicion and mistrust, China grudgingly tolerated North Korea's provocations as preferable to the alternatives, chaotic collapse across their border, and the Korean Peninsula under the domain of US-backed Seoul government. Mao described this relationship between North Korea and China as lips and teeth, better translated as if the lips are gone, the teeth will be cold, a reference to the strategic importance of the North as a geopolitical security. President Xi also mentioned the bilateral ties as lips and teeth at the reception dinner with Kim on January 8, following his remarks in Darren last May. The ties between the two can get stronger when she visits North Korea later this year, which marks the two countries' 70th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations. In this context, some critics say China does want a stable North Korea and divided Korean Peninsula rather than unification of the North and South. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching Korea Now, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.